This unit is called a consistent pressure module. It's uh, part of the well manager system. It's one of the components that can be used in all of our system, all of our systems. And the reason we talk about it as a module is the tank represents one module, the consistent pressure unit represents another module, the control system represents another module, and all of those pieces can be configured in various different ways to make well manager systems that will run anything from a two bath house to a school. Um, of course, the, you know, parts would be bigger. But what's going on with this is this receives water from this tank, uh, from the pump inside this tank, and it goes into the inlet of this unit, and this modulates the output of that pump in that tank in order to keep the house pressure consistent. So that if you go in the shower, and you open up the shower and you step in there, from the time you start that shower, until 10 minutes later or whenever you get out, the pressure of that shower head will be constant, just as though you were connected to city water. Um, these systems we have set up to run so that when you're in the shower, it would be, this gauge would be reading somewhere around 65. Uh, right now, this system is satisfied and, and uh, off, so it's just sitting here. But that's the gist of the consistent pressure um, unit. Now, let me show you one here. We have an, uh, an exact duplicate of the one that I was just showing you over here so that we can get a better look at it. The, um, the inlet to this unit is on this side. From the pressure pump inside the well manager tank, water enters here, goes through this, and then exits to the house over here. What's going on in this unit is this valve is modulating the output of the pump so that it is trying to keep the house system pressure consistent at all times. If you step into the shower, you're going to see 65 PSI on this. And if somebody else opens another shower, you're going to see it might drop a couple of pounds, but it's going to hang right in there, and everybody's going to get a decent shower. This unit will provide consistent pressure, just like city water, um, from a terrible well, actually. And um, one of the other features of this kind of arrangement here is that a standard pressure tank has a large discharge to it. So in order to draw water from the well manager, whatever pressure tank you're using has to go down uh, to the low pressure cut-in setting, bring this pump on in the well manager tank, and transfer water um, to the house. The bigger this is, the longer it takes for that to happen. And when you have a very low yield well, of course, you don't want the well manager tank sitting full all the time because it won't collect water when it's full. So if you use two gallons, you want it to come out of the well manager tank as rapidly as possible so that the next time there's an opportunity to collect, that the well manager can do that. So this also helps to keep the well collecting in very low yield wells. And we have systems like this running on wells down to a tenth of a gallon a minute and supplying uh, normal use to, to a family of two or three.